Dear friends, welcome to the EB Press Conference. The current coronavirus pandemic has forced us all to adapt to new ways and overcome new challenges. Therefore, today the annual EB Press Conference, which has been pre-recorded in China, Malaysia and USA, edited in Switzerland, will be beamed around the world. Because this EB Press Conference is traditionally held at the Bologna Children's Book Fair, we are sorry to miss our EB friends who attend without fail each year. On behalf of EB, I wish to thank the fair director Elena Pasoli for her continuing support and enthusiasm for our organization. Our thoughts are with her and all the Italians at this terrible time. As indeed they are with everyone affected by the coronavirus. The current global crisis has also resulted in the biannual EB World Congress due to be held this year in Moscow, Russia, being postponed until 2021. We are very grateful to our colleagues at EB Russia for their exceptional work in preparing this special event. EB will support the organizers in every way it can to make the 37th EB World Congress in Moscow one of the best EB Congresses. Although the Congress is postponed, the business meetings of EB have to continue. Therefore, we are preparing a virtual General Assembly to take place later this year. Details and instructions will be sent to the members after we have explored the possibilities. EB has a very wide network of 81 national sections around the world. All of our members work towards bringing books and children together. They work with children, librarians, teachers, publishers, authors and illustrators, translators, local and national governments. They work with all those who are interested in bringing the best books to children. Currently, many of our members are using technology to share stories and activities with children who are staying at home. Please support your local EB section, especially during this difficult time. EB Slovenia is the sponsor of the 2020 International Children's Book Year. To celebrate ICBD in isolation, they invited EB members to record the message in their own language. The results can be seen in an amazing film clip of the message spoken in many different languages from around the world. Peter Spetina, the Slovenian 2020 Anderson Awards shortlisted nominee, wrote the message. And Damijan Stepancic, the Slovenian illustrator nominee for the 2020 Anderson Awards, designed the poster. The poster and the message can be viewed on the EB website at www. Dot .ibby.org dot The dedication and innovation of our membership is astounding. As always, we are extremely grateful to the generous sponsors of our awards, Nami Island from South Korea for the Hans Christian Andersen Award, and Asahi Shinbun from Japan for the EB Asahi Reading Promotion Award, and the Shenzhen iRead Foundation from China for the EB iRead Outstanding Reading Promoter Award. The EB Yamada program is supported by the Yamada Bee Farm in Japan as one of the most successful and popular EB products. We are very grateful for this support. Other donors include the Anhui Children's Publishing House from China, EB National Sections, and many individual donors. We thank you all. Support also comes in kind, such as from the Frankfurt Book Fair, the Beijing International Book Fair, and the Shanghai Children's Book Fair, whom we thank for their free stands and platforms during the book fairs. Not only does EB have a very full annual program of events, this year is also an award year. Later in this press conference, the jury presidents will announce the winners of the 2020 awards. Ahmed Reza Karadin is the president of the EB Reading Promotion Awards, and he will announce the 2020 winner of the EB Asahi Reading Promotion Award and the two winners of the very first EB I Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award. Janko Yokota is the president of 2020 Hans Christian Andersen Award and will announce the author and the illustrator winner of the 2020 award. 
Although we will not be able to celebrate our winners in person this year, we shall have extra special celebrations at the 37th EB Congress in Moscow in September 2021. Where there is a hope, there is a way. Despite the many challenges we are facing, EB will continue bringing children and quality books together and through this international understanding. Please visit the EB website at www.ibby.org for all the latest news. Now I would like to introduce our EB treasurer, Alice Wons from California, who will read the text of EB's support for the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights and particular our support for Article 2, which relates to non-discrimination without distinction of any kind. Please work with us to uphold and promote these universal standards of non-discrimination and human rights in all activities, projects, and programs. Thank you. EBI's support for the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Non-Discrimination. Since its founding in 1953, the International Board on Books for Young People has promoted understanding and acceptance of others in all countries of the world. One of its main missions is to promote international understanding through children's books, and this is successfully done with strict adherence to non-discriminatory actions and policies. In keeping with this, IBI proclaims its strong support for the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights as adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in 1948 that provides a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations. With the reaffirming of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Non-Discrimination in 2015, we are reminded of its importance in today's world just as much as it was 72 years ago in 1948. The Declaration recognizes the inherent dignity and worth and equal and unalienable rights of all members of the human family, regardless of race, color, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, gender, gender expression, sexual orientation, age, or disability. It includes the right to life and liberty, freedom from slavery and torture, freedom of opinion and expression, freedom to practice religion or not, the right to work and an education, and the protection of the environment, its intent forms the very foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. These human rights are universal because everyone is born with and possesses the same inherent rights, regardless of where they live, their gender or race, their religious, cultural, or ethnic background. In this statement of IBI's support for the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Non-Discrimination, IBI further encourages its national sections and members worldwide to uphold and promote these universal standards of non-discrimination and human rights in all their activities, projects, and programs. Dear friends and colleagues, it was with a heavy heart and deepest regret that my colleagues here in Moscow and I received the notification that the 37th IBBY International Congress is postponed till 2021. We understand how difficult it was for the IBBY 
executive committee to make this decision. But in the current situation with coronavirus in the world, this is not just difficult, but wise and unavoidable decision. And we understand and fully support it. We are grateful to the members of the IBB Wine Executive Committee for their high assessment of the work done by the Russian Organizing Committee in preparing for the Congress. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone from several hundred of delegates who registered. Many thanks and admiration uh, to the experts from 56 countries of the world who submitted their abstracts to the scientific program of the Congress, thus contributing to the intellectual baggage of uh, the IBBY activities. Thank you very much for your involvement, professionalism, responsiveness and desire to cooperate. The 37th IBBY Congress will be held on approximately the same dates, September 10, 12, 2021. The Moscow International Book Fair, as well as a new specialized International Children's Book Fair, are planned for the same dates. It is important for us that these key book events become full-fledged venues for the Congress delegates. During the coming year, we are planning to attract them and maintain attention to our future Congress and IBBY activities on our website. You will find there a virtual exhibition about the founders, history and best, uh, and best projects of each of the 81 IBBY national sections. Throughout the year, the Congress website will also post the most interesting materials from the scientific program of the Congress, video messages from uh, the planned key fig speakers of the Congress, and much more. Meanwhile, please accept my condolences for all of those who have died in your countries as a result of this terrible pandemic. Our wishes for rapid recovery to all your colleagues who are ill and please do take care of yourselves, your families and friends. Let me reassure you that we will undoubtedly overcome everything together. Life will return to normal and the long-awaited Congress in the capital of Russia will certainly take place in September 2021 and it will be more professionally attractive, interesting, significant, and uh, I believe unforgettable. Thank you very much and see you in Bologna and Moscow next year. The E.B. Asahi Reading Promotion Award 2020. Dear friends, we meet today under dramatically different conditions. The coronavirus pandemic has resulted in the Bologna Book Fair being cancelled, and this announcement had to be delayed to today and delivered to you via a video recording. The E.B. Asahi Reading Promotion Award is given biennially to a group or institution whose outstanding activities are judged to be making lasting contributions to reading promotion programs for children and young people. Established in 1986 and currently entering the 25th time the award is being given, it is sponsored from the beginning by the Asahi Shimbun Group of Japan. Nominations are submitted by the EB National Sections against clearly set guidelines for qualifying and are judged by a group uh, by a jury of six persons comprising members of the EB Executive Committee. This year, the jury members are Ahmad Reza Khairuddin from Malaysia as the jury president, Anastasia Akibova from Russia, Carol Block from South Africa, Nora Lea Somani from Argentina, Basarat Kazim from Pakistan, 
and Sophie Hallam from the United Kingdom. For 2020, the jury received a total of 25 nominations from 21 different countries. We were very pleased with the depth and breadth of each nomination in terms of their work and impact created on children and young adults. We also note that many of the projects have been worked on for several years, thus proving their sustainability and the amount of work and planning that goes behind each project. We saw various groups of people working together, overcoming challenges and delivering to children the best of stories and reading. All the nominees were excellent in their own ways, each one able to reach out to the children and parents as well as communities and enriching their lives. All of them deserve a pat on the back for their excellent projects and impact on the lives of the children. Alas, the jury could only choose one winner and we were down to choose the best from the best. Our jury meeting was held in Xi'an, China in September 2019, where we also held our EBEC meeting alongside the fourth Asia Oceania EB Regional meeting. We are grateful to EB China and the city of Xi'an for graciously hosting the meeting. All members of the jury were present and we were assisted by our executive director Elizabeth Page and Franca Saleno from the EB Secretariat. I would like to thank all the jury members and the EB Secretariat for the immense contribution and commitment shown during the jury process. The unanimous choice of the jury for the EB Asahi Award 2020 is a group of passionate volunteers who carried out their reading and storytelling activities in a children's hospital in a city. The city also housed many vulnerable inhabitants, poor, and many, many of them had to drop out from school. Books and stories were viewed as additional work and were only for learning of things. They thought books were meant for people who could afford to go to school and learn things. Only the privileged were able to have books. This group of volunteers made storybooks available to many children and families and regular storytelling sessions were held in various parts of the hospital. The stories told were fun and inspired the children and adults alike. Soon enough, a change in attitude was noticed and they saw many were enjoying reading and listening to stories instead of being glued to their various gadgets. There was active participation at all levels of the people who came to the hospital, including the staff. Soon enough, they had a collection of books to read from and then even a small library at the hospital. The group became known for their work and successes and were invited to provide training and workshops for volunteers and provided advice for the setting up of similar programs in other hospitals within the area. This project had seen many heartwarming successes and has touched many lives of the children, teenagers, parents, families and caregivers. It has also inspired many others to emulate it in other parts of the city and at other hospitals. Dear friends, with that brief introduction, on behalf of the jury, I am pleased to announce Casa Cuna Quinteros of Buenos Aires, Argentina as a winner of the 2020 E.B. Asahi Reading Promotion Award. They will receive a prize of US dollars 10,000 and diploma from EB International thanks to the generous contribution of the Asahi Shimbun of Japan. Congratulations. I will now read a letter of congratulations for the winner from the Asahi Shimbun. Congratulations to the members of Casa Kuna Quinteros for being awarded this year's EB Asahi Reading Promotion Award by the International Board on Books for Young People. I would like to express my heartfelt respect for all of you for continuing such a valuable activity since the organization's founding in 2013 to read from books to children in hospitals in Buenos Aires, Argentina. The EB Asahi Reading Promotion Award is given out biannually to honor organizations for their activities to help children develop an interest in books. This is the 25th time the award has been given and I am extremely pleased that such a wonderful organization has been selected for this special occasion. 
has a company that not only publishes a daily newspaper in Japan, but also transmits news around the world through the internet. The Asahi Shimbun will make further efforts to inform a wider audience about the various activities of EBI as well as Kasakuna Quanteros. I look forward to the future achievements and development of Kasakuna Quanteros. Yours sincerely, Masataka Watanabe, President and Chief Executive Officer, The Asahi Simbun. Thank you. EBI Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award 2020 Dear friends, this year marks the inaugural EBI Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award established by the Shenzhen I Read Foundation and EBI to inspire a lasting commitment to the cause of reading promotion to encourage the spreading of this dedication to others around the globe. It is the wish of the promoters of this award that it will spur further investments by all in the promotion of children's reading and will stimulate educational innovation, much greater access to children's books, and an enhanced profile for children's reading promotion as envisaged in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. For this inaugural award, we received 19 nominations from EB national sections throughout the world. The jury comprised six voting members from the EB Executive Committee, as well as one voting member from the Shenzhen IREAD Foundation. The jury members are Ahmad Reza Khairuddin from Malaysia as the jury president, Anastasia Akipova from Russia, Carol Block from South Africa, Noralia Somani from Argentina, Bazarat Kazim from Pakistan, Sophie Hallam from the United Kingdom, and from China, Wen Li. Zenting Wang from the Shenzhen IREAD Foundation, EB Executive Director Elizabeth Page, and Franca Saleno from the EB Secretariat attended the meeting as non-voting members. The jury met in Xi'an, China in September 2019, alongside the 4th EB Asia Osana Regional Meeting. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all members who attended the meeting for their commitment to the jury process. From the 19 nominees, the jury could only select two winners, and it was a tough evaluation process because each nominee is well known and have committed their lives to the promotion of reading and books to children. They are truly philanthropic, giving and sharing time and the wealth of, the, of their knowledge in their quest to see their children read. Read for joy, empathy, understanding, travel, imagination and exploration. To all the 19 nominees, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude and best wishes for all the great work you are doing. We hope that you will continuously be motivated in your work for children. Dear friends, we now come to reveal the names of the two winners of the inaugural EBI Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award 2020. Without any order of preference, I shall mention just some of the outstanding works done by them before announcing the names of the winners. Our first winner, is a writer as well as an illustrator. Most of her adult life has been devoted to reading promotion. She has developed reading programs for children that focus not only on the story, but also on the experience of reading itself. Her reading aloud activities strive to create a warm and joyful atmosphere that make children want to come back for more and inspire them to pick up a book and read. She encourages children to identify with the stories that they read, leading them to narrate their own stories. She holds reading and illustrating activities with groups of children from different countries, resulting in a closer understanding of each other's life and culture. 
Children recognize many similarities in their lifestyles despite their different language and cultural backgrounds. She has visited many countries, meeting children and conducting workshops, making books and stories available to them, many of whom may not have the means to read nor hear stories. In bringing books to life, she lets children experience stories in different ways, for example, through stage performances as well as music. She also conducts bibliotherapy programs for children living in difficult circumstances, often helping them to face the grim realities of life by encouraging them to express their own stories. She has also started a program that provides books for refugee children in their own language so that they can read their own stories as a first step towards accepting the culture of their new home. In Iran, she has contributed both professionally and personally to giving support to street children, children from disadvantaged neighborhoods, refugees, and victims of natural disasters. This winner's work reaches children as well as families, caregivers, and people working around children in her city and country, and in so many countries all over the world. My brief description of her works here is inadequate to fully describe her works and achievements in promoting reading and stories to children. She is a towering personality in reading promotion for children of the world. Dear friends, I now announce that the first winner of the 2020 EB I Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award is Marit Tonquist from the Netherlands, nominated by EB Netherlands and EB Belgium. And now, for our second winner. He is an established and well-known scholar, having a very extensive list of publications relating to reading promotions and children. Some of his works have been translated into 15 languages, while others have been published in a wide range of countries. For almost 30 years, he has devoted his life to continuous research and activities related to reading promotion. As an educator, he is regarded by many as the inspiration and role model in the field of reading promotion. He and his team have trained many teachers throughout his homeland to be reading promoters so that they can then take on the role and responsibility to train others. His program helps schools in carrying out comprehensive reading courses for parents, children and teachers with a strong focus on rural areas. He also pays special attention to children with special needs, the vulnerable and those living in remote areas. His efforts have led to the development and production of the first set of audiobooks meant for visually impaired children. His knowledge and experience have enabled him to be recognized by his country's government and he has been able to influence and propose a number of new initiatives relating to the country's reading policies, including the promotion of children's reading. He donates much of his professional fees and royalties for reading promotion activities, where he is also a frequent volunteer. His dedication in pursuing a multi-pronged approach to children's reading has yielded significant results at all levels, from the children to parents to teachers, from the rural areas to villages to the cities, and up to policies at national level. He continues to be the driving force for reading promotion for children in his country. Furthermore, he is recognized internationally as an expert in the field of reading promotion and conducts workshops and speaking events to a wide audience in many countries. Dear friends, our second winner of the 2020 EB I Read Outstanding Reading Promoter Award is Chu Yongjin from China, nominated by EB China. Congratulations to both winners on winning this inaugural EB I Read Award and for their amazing efforts on reading promotion for children. Each of the winners will receive the sum of renminbi 200,000 and an extra renminbi 150,000 for a non-profit children's reading promotion project of their choice. Our heartfelt thanks go to the generous sponsor of this award, the Shenzhen iRead Foundation. Thank you. 
I will now read a letter of congratulations for the winners from the iRead Foundation. It is with great excitement that the first two winners of the EB iRead Outstanding Reading Promoter Award are announced today. This is a truly exhilarating moment. We are deeply touched by the great work carried out by all the nominees. It is uplifting to learn that despite all the difficulties in different corners of the earth, there are many people dedicated to cultivating a love of reading in children. We believe with the power of reading, these activities will bring powerful changes in the world. By connecting children with books, we are building a peaceful, understanding and vibrant world. Congratulations to the two winners. You have our deepest respect and gratitude for creating positive changes through children's reading promotion. Our tribute also goes to all the nominees for their commitment and excellent work all these years. From the iRead Foundation. Thank you. Dear IBI members and friends of the International Children's Literature Community, Hello, my name is Junko Yokota, and I'm the chair of the 2020 Hans Christian Andersen Award Jury. The IBI Hans Christian Andersen Award is the highest international recognition given to an author and an illustrator of children's books. The Andersen Award is sponsored by Nami Island Incorporated, to whom we express deep appreciation for their generous support. I'm honored to have served with the following members of the jury. Mariela Bertelli from Canada, Jinis Biznoso from Russia, Tina Bilban from Slovenia, Yasko Doi from Japan, Nadia El Koli from Egypt, Vivian Israti from France, Eva Kaliskami from Greece, Robin Morrow from Australia, Cecilia Ana Repeti from Argentina, Ula Redin from Sweden. Ella Nogueira from Brazil represented the IBI president, and Liz Page acted as the jury secretary. The jury accepted the responsibility of the trust placed in us for making difficult decisions among such highly qualified candidates. We met at the International Youth Library in Munich, Germany, a sister organization of IBI. We're thankful for the ongoing support in hosting the jury proceedings. The criteria used to assess the nominations include the aesthetic and literary quality, as well as the freshness and the innovation of each nominee's work, the ability to see the child's point of view and to stretch their curiosity, the continuing relevance of the works to children and young people. The award is based on the entire body of work. IBI National Section submitted 34 author nominees and 36 illustrator nominees. From this pool of incredibly highly qualified candidates, the jury deliberated each nominee, carefully and thoroughly assessing each candidate while maintaining discussions related to the criteria. The short list of six authors and six illustrators was announced in January, and we hope that you have had a chance to view the video to see and hear each candidate introduce their work. The illustrators shortlisted for the award are Isabel Arsenault from Canada, Seizo Tashima from Japan, Sylvia Wee from the Netherlands, Ivona Himilevska from Poland, Elena Odriozola from Spain, and Albertine from Switzerland. The dossier for the illustrator winner notes, known for work that expresses spontaneity combined with attention to detail, infinite precision, as well as a sense of humor. Our winner creates books with multiple levels of interpretation as an illustrator, but also as an author. The 2020 winner of the illustrator category is Albertine, submitted by the Swiss section of IBI. The author shortlist for the award are Maria Cristina Ramos from Argentina, Bart Moyard from Belgium, Maria Murael from France, Farhad Hassanzadeh from Iran, Peter Svetina from Slovenia, and Jacqueline Woodson from the United States of America. 
The dossier for the author winner notes that across all books, our winner's books feature lyrical language, powerful characters, and an abiding sense of hope. The dialogues are pitch perfect, the stories are raw and fresh, and the endings satiate the reader. The 2020 winner of the Author Award category is Jacqueline Woodson, submitted by USBBY, the United States National Section of IBI. The awards will be conferred next year at the 37th IBI Congress to be held in Moscow. Meanwhile, please continue to celebrate each of the nominees, the 12 shortlisted candidates, and to delve deeply into the books created by each one of our winners. Please join me in congratulating each nominee, each shortlisted candidate, and each of our two winners, Albertine and Jacqueline Woodson. Thank you for your interest in the Hans Christian Andersen Awards. I encourage you to share this exciting news wherever you are. Please visit the IBI website to catch up on all the latest news about the IBI Anderson Awards, as well as that of other activities around the world. everyone for following the 2020 IBI press conference. Thank you to the presenters, Min Jia Chang, Ellis Vance, Vladimir Grigorov, Reza Ahmed Karudin and Junko Yokota. We are across the world from Beijing to California, calling in at Kuala Lumpur, Moscow and Chicago. We also wish to acknowledge and give our most heartfelt thanks to the wonderful and generous sponsors of our awards, the Asahi Shimbun from Japan, the I Read Foundation from China and Nami Island from South Korea. Please visit the IBI website to learn more about the wonderful 2020 winners. Unfortunately, the coronavirus pandemic has made it impossible to celebrate with this year's winners at the 37th IBI World Congress that was due to be held later this year. But we shall celebrate next year and hope to see you all at the IBI Congress in Moscow, September 2021. Please keep visiting the IBI website for all news and developments. IBI's quarterly journal, Bookbird, is a huge resource for information about international children's literature. In particular, the traditional Anderson issue profiles each of the nominees for the 2020 award. Because of this current pandemic, all issues of Bookbird from 2008 can be read for free on Project Muse until the end of May this year. All IBI's activities are described on our website. The IBI Yamada Workshop Program, International Children's Book Day, the IBI Honor List, the Children in Crisis Program, the IBI Collection of Books for Young People with Disabilities, the Silent Books Project, our partnership with the SDG Book Club, as well as news from our members from around the world in the various newsletters. Thank you to all the IBI members around the world. None of this could happen without you. Finally, a big thanks to Susan Dewhurst and Franca Salerno at the IBI Secretary, and special thanks must go to Marlon Candeloro for having the patience to make these films with me. All of these mini films are posted on the IBI website at www.ibi.org. Stay well, stay safe, and we look forward to seeing you again in Bologna in 2021. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.